Geeks. Okay guys, the video you guys are going to see is a short video of how to bleed the brakes on the Volvo XC70 with the Mighty Vac. Yeah, that's what it's called, the Mighty Vac. Um, I lost clip a clip of doing the passenger side, so at some point you'll see me mention doing the passenger side and then it just cuts to the end. Also, there's... Uh, a noise issue I had with the fans that I have in the garage so it cuts in and out of what I'm saying in the beginning of the video but remember in the last video that the Firestone I think I called said they charge a hundred bucks to bleed your brakes the tool was about 300 bucks that I bought the Mighty Vac but if you know someone that has the tools um, I guarantee they'll charge way less than a hundred bucks or if you do the old fashioned pump the brake, open the valve, close the valve, pump the brake, and just keep doing that, you can bleed the brakes yourself like that. Um, but the Mighty Vac is an awesome tool, especially if you guys do a lot of mechanic work yourself. Awesome tool, you'll definitely get your money back if you help uh, your friends or neighbors out and charge them a little bit. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully. Uh, I find all these lost clips, or I've accidentally deleted them, or something happened. I don't know. But there's a lot of clips that I'm missing. So enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, share. And also, um, I think in that clip where I had uh, changed the hose, I don't think I was opening up the valve all the way. So also keep that in mind. Because uh, when I changed the hose, I still opened it the same way, and then I gave it a little bit more and then it bled perfectly fine so I don't think the hose was the issue but now you guys know a little insight before you guys see the video like subscribe share get the tools do it yourself and save yourself some money thanks guys okay guys it's time to bleed the brakes on this uh, 70 I bought this pressure bleed system. Spent about 300 bucks. The little uh, reservoir uh, that I could drain into isn't here yet, but it comes with a bunch of attachments. I already hooked it up to the Volvo. Use the correct attachment, push locks, the valve. I've already filled it up. I've put 10 PSI on it. This thing is freaking sweet. And then I just had to kind of do a little ghetto thing here just so I could drain it. Uh, but whatever, this should work. But this thing is freaking sweet. Get one of these to uh, bleed brake systems. Um, this thing is, I'll make my money back up with this guy. This, uh, bleed the front brakes since I changed those brake lines in the previous video. So here we go, let's go ahead and see how this works. So I put it at 10 PSI, that's what's recommended. I'm going to open the valve, it's going to fill it all up. Down here I'm going to come down and bleed the system and look at that. I'm going to go ahead and close it back off. Let's see if this is still holding 10 pounds. Yep, still is. So I'm going to open it back up. Let it work its magic. You know, I think I have the wrong attachment here. Hold on. I might be running into an issue because of the way I set this up. Um, 
I think this guy is causing me an issue. So let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, let's try this again. I changed out this hose to a different one that I usually use. I just had to cut the opening a little bit bigger. Close the valve, made sure it's back at 10 PSI. Let's open up the valve. Let's crack this loose. And there it goes. It's just bleeding away. Look at that, no air bubbles in it. It is all good already. So, go ahead and close this off. This side's good. There's no air bubbles coming out of that. So, that is perfect. This is exactly, I'm going to go ahead and close this valve. Now I'm going to make sure this is at 10 pounds still. Still up there, 10 PSI. Now let's go to the passenger side and uh, test that side out. Okay, I have it all disconnected now. I don't know if this is what this is for to keep it from leaking, whatever is left in here, but I just threw this on there for now. It's plugged. Um, the valve is closed, the pressure is released, I'm just going to leave the fluid in there and probably put it back in the box. You guys let me know if that's how it should be done or not, but there goes the model of it. And that's how you guys bleed your brakes with the Mighty, what do they call it, Mighty Vax? Mighty, Mighty Vac, Mighty Vac. So, you guys like that video, let me know, like, subscribe, share the video. The brake, the front brakes, since I changed the brake lanes, are now bled. So the front brakes are bled. And now I just gotta go back to another video and finish up uh, doing the rear brakes on it. So that'll be already uploaded by the time you guys see this video. So like, subscribe, share. See all the previous content on this car. But as of right now, this might be the last video on the Volvo XC70. Thanks guys, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, it was fun, it was different, I learned a lot, and like and subscribe, share the video. Until next time guys, we'll see what the garage brings us next.